everyone, thanks for joining me today. In today's video, we are going to learn how to do a simple Christmas hat. So get comfortable and let's get started. We're going to start by making a slip knot. And you can place that on peg one or your anchor peg. And we're going to do our cast on. So I'm going to wrap and then I'm going to knit over. Now I'm going to wrap again twice and knit over. So what you're doing is you're making tiny little E's on top of each other with the working yarn. You're going to do this the whole way around the loom. So again, we're just wrapping once on the bottom and then once on top. Continue doing this until you get back to the anchor peg. Okay, we're back to the anchor peg and now we're going to do the e-wrap stitch. So this is making tiny little e's on each one of the pegs. So you want to do that the way, entire way around the loom again. So we're almost back to the anchor peg. So wrap that last one and secure the yarn. And then we're going to take our bottom stitch and place it over the top. It might be a little tight, but it should be okay. Just take the bottom over the top. Once this first row is done, it won't be as tight, but it is completely normal. If you notice a little bit of tension, that's normal. So again, this is the E-wrap stitch, and we're just taking the bottom stitch and placing it over the top. We are back to the anchor peg, so we're going to do a row of the purl stitch now. With the purl stitch, you're placing your working yarn below the stitch on the peg, taking your loom tool and pulling that working yarn up, making a loop, taking it off the peg, and placing the loop that you made back onto the peg. So just pull that yarn through, Make a loop, take it off the peg, and tighten it. Again, we're pulling that yarn up and through, making a loop, taking the loop off of the peg, and tightening it. We're going to do this the entire way around the loom until we get back to the anchor peg. Just take your time and go as slow as you need to. There's no hurry when you're knitting. Knitting should be stress-free. And if you're knitting and you're getting upset about it, then it's not really helping. So just take your time and know that you can do it. Okay, we are back to the anchor peg, so now we're going to do a row of the e-wrap stitch. And it's just like what we did before. So go ahead and wrap your pegs, secure your yarn, and knit over. And now we're back doing the purl stitch. And again, we're going to do it the same way, pulling that loop, taking it off the peg and putting it back on. So 
So repeat the same process for the purl stitch. Now it's time to switch colors. So we did three rows of a knit purl stitch. So a knit purl stitch is actually one row together. So we did three, but we actually did knit purl, knit purl, and knit purl. So hopefully that makes sense to you. So now we're going to change colors on the yarn so we're going to go to red and just tie a knot onto the yarn and tighten it. Now we're going to start wrapping. And we'll get rid of those loose tails later. If you have your own way of changing yarn colors, do, do whatever's most comfortable to you. Everybody's different. So just, I'm going to go ahead and snip these off now. And then as I'm wrapping, I'll just hide them inside of the hat. So we're just going to start e-wrapping. It's really simple. We're just going to do an e-wrap stitch. We're going to do this on each one of the pegs again and then we're going to knit over the bottom stitch over the top. Again, don't worry about those loose tails. They'll be hidden inside of the hat. So we're just knitting over, then push your yarn down. And now we're going to wrap again. I am using two strands of yarn and it is a number four yarn. So I'm just doubling my strands to make it a little thicker. I'm just using what I have on hand. So again, we're just wrapping, doing the e-wrap. Really simple. And then we're going to knit over. So we're just going to knit off and push our stitches down and then we're going to wrap again doing the e-wrap stitch and do the same process.
Okay, we're now on to our next step. We're going to take the stitch off of peg one and place it on peg two. Pull your working yarn tight, not too tight, but firm. And then we're going to e-wrap the rest of the pegs. Secure your yarn, and then we're going to knit over. As you can see, there are two stitches to knit over on this peg. That would be because somehow I missed it the first time around, so it's not a big deal. Just knit over those two if that happens to you. Sometimes it will happen, but just knit over these the stitches now we have two on peg two because remember we moved our stitch over so now we're going to go the other side and we're going to take the stitch off from the left and put it to the previous peg just like we did on peg one to peg two. Now we're going to work the other side and we're going to use our anchor peg as like the marker here. So go ahead and e-wrap the rest of the pegs on the loom. Then we're going to knit over. Now here is peg two. So remember we have two on that peg and that's okay. And then we're just going to take the rest of the pegs and take the bottom stitch over the top stitch. Go ahead and push your work down. Now we're working on the right side again, so we're going to take the stitch off of peg two and place it on peg three. And then we're going to e-wrap the rest of the stitches. So we're going to e-wrap the rest of the pegs just like we did before, and here again we have two on the bottom and just take both of those and knit them over just as if they were one and knit over the rest of the pegs. Okay. Moving on, we're going to go to the other side, take that stitch off of the peg and move it to the left. Pull your yarn tight and e-wrap the rest of the pegs. Now we're going to take those two stitches and knit them over as one again and knit over the rest of the pegs on the loom. We're just going to continue this process. Push your work down. Now we'll go to the opposite side and move the stitch so we're on peg three, move it to peg four. Okay, so now we're going to e-wrap the rest of the loom. 
and knit off. And again, knit those two as one. Push your work down. Now we're going to move the next, ne excuse me, the next stitch over and do the same thing. E wrap the rest of the pegs. Secure your yarn. Knit over these two as one. Take the next peg, move it over, tighten your yarn. And then you're going to wrap again. Knit off. Now we're going to take the stitch on the opposite side and move it over. We're almost done. We're going to wrap the rest of the pegs and knit over. Now e-wrap the, the peg next to it and knit over. Now we're going to Now we're going to wrap the peg on the left and knit over. Take the peg or take the stitch, move it to the right, pull your yarn tight, and knit over that stitch. Now we're going to take a pair of scissors and just give that yarn a cut. Then we're going to take our hat off of the loom, and there it is. And we're going to take the tail that we just cut and make a knot. So put that tail through the loop that you made and pull to make a knot. Make sure it's secure. Now moving on, we're going to thread our darning needle. We're going to turn our hat inside out and we're actually going to sew down the bottom of the hat or in the back of the hat. So we're just going to sew this open part up with the tail that we just cut. So make your way down. And just like I said, close this hole and I usually just work on the outer stitches. So just sew those together. Now you only have to go to the white part. And remember, your hat right now is turned inside out. That's why it looks funny. So sew all the way down and then we're going to tie a knot
pull on the knot and secure it. Then we're going to go ahead and put our hat the right way. So we're going to put it, you know, it's inside out when we were sewing it. So now we're going to put it the way it should go. And as you can see, it looks all cute and it's tilted. Now we're ready to move to our next step, which is sewing the tail in to the hat. So just take a darning needle. It doesn't have to be perfect, but your mission here is to hide this tail yarn. So just place it within some of the stitches and it should already be knotted. So it's just a matter of hiding it, securing it, and then cutting the extra tail off so it can't be seen. And you won't have trouble with that because it'll be hidden inside of the hat anyway. So I've hidden my tail, now I'm just going to cut the remainder off and I will be all set. Except I now need a pom-pom. I will list in the description box below on how to make your own pom-pom. So you make sure you check the description box below for that link. And that's going to do it for our miniature stocking video. If you haven't already, Please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And I will see you at the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.